it's Tom from Texas, and thank you for joining me for another floppy deep dive. The question I often get is, how do you look so good? I don't think so. No. And the second question I get is, when I post pictures of my ZX Spectrum, how do I hook that ZX Spectrum up to a VGA monitor? If that's why you clicked here, you're in luck, because that's what I'm going to show you today. Let's get started. So here's the answer. I use this video converter from Amazon. I use this converter on many different systems as a retro guy. And at the time of this recording, this device costs $17.55. So it's very affordable. It'll get you up and running in minutes on your VGA monitor. And there's many versions of this device that's out there that look very similar. So be careful because they are not all made the same. You are in terrible danger. Use the link I put in the description. That's the only one that I endorse and that I use. And if you stray from that, don't say I didn't warn you. The output on here is VGA, and the input, you've got three options. You can go VGA to VGA, you could do S-Video to VGA, or you could do the yellow composite to VGA. So this is my white ZX Spectrum that I won from the UK, and I believe I'm the only person in the United States that has a white ZX Spectrum. Prove me wrong. That was awesome. <laughs> To be able to hook up your ZX Spectrum using the converter, you have to do the composite mod or make sure that it's been modded. And to see that if it's been modded, it's very easy to do. You have to open it up. You only got five screws that you gotta take off the back here. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. We'll take these five screws out and I can show you exactly where to look to make sure that you've got the composite mod. So we got all the screws out. You got to be careful because it has the ribbon in here when I take this off. And I just want to be careful not to mess it up. Here's the glorious PCB. And speaking of PCBs, this video is sponsored by PCB Way. Have you ever needed a printed circuit board for a project or a cool gadget? Well, PCB Way is here to help you. They're a company that can make PCBs for you no matter how big or small your project is. They use fancy machines and intelligent people to make your PCB perfectly. They also help you find all the little parts you need to make your project work, and they're always there to answer your questions. Give PCB Way a try, and you'll be amazed how easy it is to make your project come to life. So to see if your ZX Spectrum has been modded or not, you just need to look right here. And if you have a wire that runs from the board up into the composite, it's been modded. It is very easy to do. It's an easy mod. I'm not showing you how to do the mod in this video, but I'm going to attach a link to a YouTube video that shows you exactly how to do it if you do need to do it yourself. So I got everything all hooked up again. I just don't have power to it. As you can see on my converter here, I've got the composite video plugged in. I got my VGA going out. This is my power cord and everything else is ready to go. So I'm going to hook this thing up. All right, so I got everything hooked up now. I'm going to go ahead, get some power to it, plug it on, and let's see if we get a picture. And ta-da, we got a picture. And there you go. Um, I haven't tried to do any kind of adjustments with it because I use this monitor for my Commodore also. And as you can see, it looks just fine. Everything plays good. And that's how you hook up your ZX Spectrum to a VGA monitor. Thanks for tuning into this video on hooking up your ZX Spectrum to a VGA monitor. I have tons of content on all sorts of retro systems, so if that's something you're interested in, check it out. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up or leave comments down below. Watch my other videos on retro computing and gaming, and you can find them all in the playlist section of my channel or in the recommended videos that's on the screen right now. And if you have any ideas for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.